guys. Today is day six of our travel series and today we are joining you, as you can see from behind me, Diagon Alley in Universal Studios. We had an early start today because Halloween Horror Nights is on this evening which means the park closes slightly earlier than normal. So here we are in the magic. And also so we could get here um, as early as possible so we could go to the Ollivander Wand Experience because we might know the Ollivander. Let's jump in that queue before that particular Ollivander is off shift. Is off shift. <laughs> I was trying to say it as magical as I could. <laughs> if you're enjoying our videos, please don't forget to like them, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and please leave us comments. We absolutely love reading them, and we do try and get back to every single one. Juan will choose one wizard and one wizard only. So with that being said, I'll take us back now to go see the Wand Keeper. Thank you for selecting all of and please keep your parties together. Follow me right this way. Welcome. Welcome to all of us, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. <laughs> I am the wand keeper here, the wand that chooses the wizard and yours only a select. I sense a powerful magic. I sense a powerful magic in you. That right. You step forward. Could you give that to your valley? <laughs> <laughs> and won't you? Hello. Stand right there, would you? Hello. What is your name? Charlie. Charlie. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Charlie. <laughs> so, Charlie, you may know. But every Ollivander one has a core. A core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn ears, phoenix tail feathers, and the heart strings of dragons. And no two Ollivander ones are the same. Just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. And of course, you will never get such a good result with another wizard's one, right? Let us begin. The wand of Poplar. So, the wand of Poplar is 13 inches long, yieldingly strong. Dragon heart string cord. Alright then, Charlie, this is what I want you to do. I want you to stand right there, if you will, and I want you to utilize the wand to move the ladder closer. So put the wand at the ladder, give the wand a wave, and say, Accio ladder. Accio ladder. No, 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 no. I want you to stand there, but I want you to use the, the wand to water the flowers for me. Could you do that? Yeah. So point the wand at my flowers, give the wand a wave, and say, Agua Mente. Agua Mente. That 
that love it is a wand of large <laughs> and it's yes. chosen you. A wand of large choose a wizard that knows himself. A wizard that knows himself, Charlie, will know their potential. Oh, and <laughs> with a phoenix tail to their core, you are truly destined to make a mark. Now, my assistant will answer all of your questions and go over your one options. But remember, the wand learns from the wizard. The wizard learns. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the wand that chose Charlie and um, was given to him by Ollivander. And we found it here in the shop and the details. Boy, oh, that's your wand! I know, it's cool, isn't it? We have just got out of Ollivander's. I have purchased the wand that chose me. Um, obviously, we met Ollivander, who, if you guys have watched all of this vlog series, you may have met before as well. We so have, let we us might, know. We might have known Ollivander. <laughs> um, and what we just found out, which is really interesting, is that the dragon that's on top of Gringotts breathes fire, as many people know, but that happens on the hour and then every 10 minutes exactly. So if you want to get a good picture, every 10 minutes, 10, uh, 11, 10, 11, 20, 11, 30, etc, etc. I have entered full tourist mode. I've got my wand, I've got my butt beer, and I'm ready for the day. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that is so good. More sweet treats for me. <laughs> breakfast. Bre mm, breakfast. <laughs> yes. Who's that one? Oh, Bellatrix. So here in this display cabinet in Borgen and Burks, there are collectible items which must be shipped. If you've seen uh, some of our older videos on our channel, you'll know that Will already has this wand, Lucius Malfoy. The best wand. The best one here is 150 US dollars. And then here we've got a collection of wands, which I assume are the you know, nasty people. That's Voldemort's one, I know that. Why, why would it be weird? And that will set you back 250 US dollars. And here in the corner of Borgen and Burks is the vanishing cabinet. I love it. I can hear the little bird tweeting, which is making me sad. No we can I find there inside. Shall I look at the white man? Boy, you're doing that so elegantly. I don't think it needs to be so elegant. <laughs> Guys, I've absolutely polished off this whole butterbeer. I was meant to be sharing it with Charlie, but he hasn't really had a, had a look in. Sorry, boy. Schoolgirl. <laughs> so 
guys, Escape from Green Gots is currently a 40 minute wait, which I don't think is too bad, so we're going to head on that now. But from memory, we have to put our bits in a locker, so we might have to say goodbye to the vlog for a moment, but we'll be back in just a second. shops is really what um, interests me the most to be honest because I think most of the bottle merchandise um, we have seen before. Oh there's the night bus. Oh yeah. Guys, we're going to jump on the Revenge of the Mummy, but again, we have to use lockers. So we're going to shove the camera in the locker and we'll see you after. The Mummy, that ride is absolutely incredible. Charlie told me it's quite old now, but still it's so, so good. Also, what I am noticing at Universal is that their ride times are longer than they actually are. That one was 35 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean it wasn't that much shorter, but it was like 25, 30. Yeah, I'd say so. So we will see you in Islands of Adventure. Hey, we've actually been on a few things in this park that we've had to put the camera away, so I'm not sure what you guys are going to see at all. We have to keep it in our phone away.
So guys, just checking back in, we've just got off of the Forbidden Journey in Hogsmeade. It was so good, but if you can't deal with motion sickness and stuff like that, just do not go on it. Even me and Charlie have just had to come and have a sit down because it just throws you around so much and the screens are really close to your face when, when they put you in front of a screen. It gives, I've got, honestly, I've got a headache now. But it was so good and the queue is phenomenal, the best queue I've ever been in. You're walking through Hogwarts, through the greenhouses, underneath the castle, you walk in front of Dumbledore's entrance to his office, you walk through his office, it is so good and that is just the queue. So I highly, highly recommend. We are craving a Coke a lot. We was joking a minute ago saying we've got the shakes. That was a joke by the way, I'm not really shaking. Because in the Harry Potter areas they don't sell Coke, they have their own drinks. But we do want to head over and try the um, the new Jurassic Park ride. Boy, what's that one called? Jurassic World Velocicoaster. The Velocicoaster. And uh, hopefully there'll be cokes around there, we can grab one. The first place we found that serves coke. Oh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Velocicoaster, the Velocicoaster is. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. There's, it chucks you around, you're going upside down, it speeds you up vertically, down vertically, like at huge heights. And you don't have the arms to hold onto. It just holds around your waist. So you're flying everywhere. Honestly, that was the most horrendous, but the most exciting thing I've ever done. <laughs> Boy, don't you agree? Oh my god, I loved it. Very, very high thrill ride. You actually Probably said the highest you? thrill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the highest thrill. Yeah. When we sat down, Charlie said, "I, I don't feel comfortable because it comes over your head and just holds you around your waist." But um, he didn't have anything to hold on to. And my god, it throws you around. But it was great. We. It was so. I'll do it, again. it was so so good. Okay, I know I've said loads of times in this vlog, but the best roller coaster I've ever done. Uh, but it's thrown us around so much, we're just going to grab a drink and have a sit down for a second because we're exhausted. Honestly, that took it out of us. We found ourselves in a little quiet corner, just to the side... I can't see my hand. Just to the side of where... That's not really the side. Just to the side of where they serve pizza in the Jurassic Park section of we're Islands of Adventure. We're next to the old ride, aren't we? Yeah, we're next to River Adventure, so we're going to take it easy. I've actually got my feet elevated um, because we've been walking for so many hours just to, to rest up a little bit. It's currently five o'clock, quarter past five, and this park is actually open till 9pm. So we did the bits we wanted to do this morning in Universal Studios because that's closing up at five for Horror Nights, if I haven't already mentioned that. And this park's open till nine. Hopefully we won't actually stay that late because I think we're starting to flag already. Because it's been a long day. We've just kind of prioritised the things that we really wanted to do at our Universal Day. So well, I hope you guys... 60 minutes. Oh, brilliant. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, we've got a couple more rides that we want to do. So we're kind of hanging on to see if the Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventure, Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure, I think that's what it's called, um, wait time goes down. It was at 95 and it's now at 60, did you say? Yeah. I mean, we don't. I'm thinking. Yeah, we don't mind that because every wait time today that's, has that been less. Really annoying me. Every wait time today has been less than what it said on the app, which is nice. You know, under promise, over deliver. Universal, love that. I've got a plan in place. Oh, Will's got a plan, so I'm going to hand you over to him, and he's going to give you our plan. But I'm just going to let you know that after this, we're hoping to head to Disney Springs to have dinner at Chicken Guy, and maybe have a little look in the world of Disney before heading home to the beautiful Four Seasons Orlando. So guys, on the Universal Florida app, 
it has the wait times. I'm thinking we do Shut up! <laughs> we fell, <do> <laughs> dear my head. I'm thinking we do. Oh, I've lost it now. Oh, Jurassic Park River Adventure. Is that an arcade game or something? Yeah, it keeps going it off. is, it is. I'm thinking we do the Jurassic Park River Adventure because that is only a 15 minute wait. And maybe we'll do the Forbidden Journey again. It's only 10 minute wait. Makes me feel so sick Oh though. God, yeah, the motion sickness is Which real. It takes me like 15 minutes to recover. And then after that, I wonder if the Hagrid ride goes down. Yeah, because we don't really want to go to the rides at the front of the park like Hulk until the end because that's like near the exit. So we want to kind of stay up here because it's not even though it's a longer wait time, it's not worth the steps. Exit. Exit. I'll put a G in it. Exit. I love that. I've never noticed that before. Mmm. <laughs> I like Coke. <coughs> so Charlie's got a Coke. Can I ask for a mix of red and blue slush? You see what I can see? No blue. All red, but it's okay. I like cherry. It's just a lot of it. I don't know what to do next. Return to the park. <laughs> I found a model. Welcome to Jurassic Park. was just so good. The sun had gone down by the time we got out of the building and at the front. And all the lights come on the bikes and stuff. It just looks so good. Charlie's never ridden it in the dark before, so he said it was so much better. I thought it was better. So for those of you who've been on it, spoilers, um, the part when Hagrid says that we've lost power, because you're in the dark, I've never realised this before, but the front of the bikes have lights on them. And when you lose power, the lights go off. The lights go off. Yeah, really cool. But we were so hungry, so we have come to Disney Springs, oh. and we are at Chicken Guy. And we're just tucking into our food now before we go home and have a nice early night. And we've also got a bit of a lay-in tomorrow, haven't we? Yeah. Because we haven't got anything planned until about 2.30. So, I can't wait. Honestly, I'm so tired. For anyone wondering, the sauces I went for was the Chicken Guy Special Sauce and the Chipotle Ranch. We always gone for the barbecue. What type of barbecue was it? The brown 
sugar barbecue. Oh, Okay, so one last stop before we head back to the hotel. So they have all the t-shirt designs displayed up here. Some of them are flickering for some reason on the camera, but I've never seen that one before. About the Dapper Dan's, I think that's really cool. There's a few more over here. These are the ears that I'm considering. He's been speaking about them all holiday. Every the, time I, I see someone in them, I think... Mm. They look so good though, don't they? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, these lounge fly bags, they think of every single character and theme going. Just down this live action Little Mermaid one, which we think Oh yeah, is, Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, like Melissa McCarthy is <laughs> on a lounge fly bag. Guys, there is the so thing? many different themes. So you've got... Pirates of the Caribbean, Frozen, Goofy Movie, Goofy Movie. We saw a Buzz Lightyear one yesterday, which we absolutely loved. I'm loving this one tonight. The fireworks, but the quality seems so good as well. Yeah, definitely. Perfect, like theme park backpack. Yeah. You know, I've just found this Hocus Pocus spirit jersey. It's only a small, but I really love it. Just because I love Hocus Pocus. I love how they've drawn them this year, this kind of new style of like, animated characters. And then on the back, they've got the, I don't know their names, but the new girls from Hocus Pocus 2, like the young witchy girls. I mean, I won't wear this, so I wouldn't get it, but I love it. But it just makes you want to buy it. Yeah, exactly, though I have seen a Halloween pin like this, so maybe we'll get that when we go to yeah. Mickey's Not So Scary. Yeah, because you do love Hocus Pocus, so that wouldn't be a wasted pin. No, but I feel, like, I'm not gonna wear that, am I? No. This is me, we're talking. Remember and then let's go to the black and white section. Though I have to say goodbye, remember me. So this is the central area of the world of Disney. And at the back up there, they've got the Halloween bits and pieces, which are really cool. Just circled around this side. Kind of princessy bits over there. Star Warsy bits over there. Yeah, oh, we were just admiring the black and white. No, I, dro I dropped it on the floor. Oh no. They're not spirit jerseys, are they? They're like, they're like no, hoodies. No, and I'd love a hoodie like that if um, it didn't have the zip. Oh, I know what you mean. Are they all like that then? Oh, that's annoying. If we were fully fledged Disney adults, we would definitely have this cookie jar. <laughs> but again, we're not quite there. Why do I look at that and think we need to get that? I don't know, but where the hell is it going to go? No, it won't go anywhere. We're not getting it. But I, I, just, I just see it and I think... I need that. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love these for people that like to decant their tea and coffee and sugar into separate containers. They've got all matching Disney ones. Tea, coffee. Oh, look, we always found a little pinny. Or an apron. I call them pinnies. I don't know why I say pinny. Also, guys, we have picked up some sweet treats. So I love my sweet treats. So I've got a tutti fruity lollipop and Charlie's got um, sour, oh, oh they are sour, sour gummy Disney characters. Just mm. something for the hotel room. Mm -mm -mm. I adore these replicas of the books from the films. Look at the detail on Honestly, the they're... Got the on it. Oh my, oh my god. They are so nice. How much is it? Yeah, these are like notebooks. For 35 quid. 35? Yeah, uh, dollars, sorry. Uh, maybe that's something we could consider. Oh, it's that black Starbucks cup again. Mm, still considering you as a purchase. 30 plus tax. So guys, we're over at the Spirit jerseys. Obviously the black one is the vibes that we like. Um, so Will's gonna try on a medium. There's only a mi one medium. So he's gonna give it a go, see how it fits. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there, so. Oh, okay, here, yeah. Okay, guys. She's feeling well. Our look and a nose stuck in a book to the rest of us is bare. Oh, it's in oh, yeah, it's definitely medium amazing. vibes, isn't it? It's my Can you see my t shirt underneath it? Charlie's trying to sing for copyright see. reasons. Now he's going to try medium. No, he's not. He's going to try small just to see how yeah, the comparison is. Small. Oh my god, yeah, it's definitely too small. Do you want to try large just in case? Okay, hang on, my top came off last time I did this. Here we 
Jeremy Chalmers, only she, who is beautiful as me, so I'm making plans to woo and marry well. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. Bo -bo -bo. I know we said one more stop, but since eating, we've both got a second wind. And oh my god, it's that thing. What the this sign? sign, honestly. I love that. I love it. I wonder if we can spin them into different know, directions. I, I, I know, honestly, this shot. I actually really want that. Don't you? Oh god. Here it is, guys. It's seventy dollars. We still love it, but this is really plasticky. Like, plasticky which... I was hoping that would be the same material as that. It's really putting me off. Yeah, so it's not like an instant whack it in the basket type situation, yeah. but it's definitely in the back of our minds. Let me have a little thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll sit on that one. So guys, this era's merchandise I'm absolutely loving. So it's kind of replicas of things, like Disney things. And I think our little ornament, which has now found its way into Will's hand. It did, guys, honestly, we literally stopped recording about a minute ago when I said we're going to think about it. Oh, no, we're getting it. That's when you know, though, don't you? You have to put something down. But what if it damages in the case? No, the what I'll do is I'll pack it here and I'll pack it here. They'll wrap it up loads, I Will think. They? Yeah, yeah, I think Where? so. Just vintage things. Oh, Where? sorry. <laughs> just them vintage things like this. I know this is just like a picture on a wall, but I just love it. It's my kind of Disney merchandise. We're in that artist section now of the co-op marketplace. Honestly, I could just buy all of this stuff. If we had a bigger house, like, oh, my, like things like that. Not necessarily on like a canvas, but I just, I don't know why I'm in love with all this sort of stuff so much. Giselle! So if one day I ended up owning my own restaurant, this is what me and Charlie will have. Because I know exactly where I'm going, I'm getting closer and closer. No, oh my god, Lottie. She's my spirit animal. Look, I never get anything I wish for. <laughs> Excuse me, Nanny. Will this about cover it? I think this shop is better than the big Disney store. Oh, None of this hair. was in there. It's Look. The hair. Look. Minnie could dress up as Ursula <gasps> for Halloween. <laughs> oh my god, the Hey Hey costume. I can't deal. I cannot deal with all this. Oh god, oh look, god. that is just the life. The way she's dressed, I'm living for it. <laughs> Guys, we found the Ursula costume being modelled. How incredible is that? The hair. Boy, oh, it's the hair that does it for me. Oh, it's a separate piece. Come on, you poor unfortunate souls! Found this piece of artwork too, guys. We love it. It's like a Disneyland Paris piece of art, and in the background, you can see little things like Haunted Mansion, or rather, should I say, the Phantom only thing, Manor. That's the only ride they've got there. I thought they'd have more around it. But... Oh, that's true. Though this is, um, though this, this pirate ship is over here somewhere, isn't it? Isn't is it? this a ride? Of course it is. Is that meant to be Hyperspace Mountain in the sky? That a ride? I don't know what the blip is for, but hey, maybe it is something. Let us know in the comments if you know what the what sort of connection is there with that. Today was successful on the merch front. <laughs> Though, do you know what? We have waited so far. We've been here almost a week and we haven't bought anything yet, have we? No. So, and we yeah. haven't felt it necessary to buy anything, which is why we haven't. Yeah. But today we're having a little bit of a I said earlier in the vlog that we're absolutely knackered. That dinner recharged me. Yeah, I, I was ready to spend. Yeah, when Charlie went, oh, <laughs> should we have a look around the um, the Disney shop? I said, boy, I literally don't think I, I have the energy, but we'll go in. God, how successful, I'm absolutely fine. I'm like, let's go, where else can we go? <laughs> there is a Christmas shop. No. <laughs> are these for sale? These are also something I feel that I need. <laughs> They can go on the coffee table as well. They can. Look at those little puppets. I might be able to see my reflection. Sorry, guys. Look, Woody, Bullseye, and Jesse. They are actual puppets. He's in the little box. And he comes in the Woody's Roundup box. Love it. Guys, $49.99. The rest of them, he's Woody, Bullseye, 
Oh my god. And oh, yeah. Jesse. You seen it opens up? Yeah, I know. I was just I was oh just on the floor, but <laughs> this lighting is so much better. Oh my god. Oh. That is sick. Something that I really don't need. I don't need no, it. No, we don't need it. There literally isn't a place for that to go. Oh. Maybe one day, guys, we'll be back for one. these. Pardon? <laughs> you are the chosen one. He has been chosen. He's going on to a better place. <laughs> Christmas! More live action Little Mermaid merch. I like Scuttle on it. Yeah, look, can you see Scuttle there, alright? Turn it around. There's Scuttle. And there's Flounder and Sebastian. Oh my god, honestly. Oh, that's pretty. He's sucking me in. That's really pretty. Cinderella. Oh my god, boy. Oh, look. The entrance. Did we get to that somewhere on the tree? Sentimental value. And we did blue and gold last year. Damn it, one year too late. We've just found out that the 2023 on most of these decorations are from being pre-personalised, because a lot of people must ask to have the year put on them, but you can actually have other things written on them as well, and it's $5 extra. From the Legacy Collection decorations, there's this really cool Peter Pan one of him in Captain Hook's outfit. Obviously there, there's a Sword of the Stone one, which I'm absolutely loving. Oh, his nose is broken off for that one. Oh, is Maybe he? that was post nose job. Oh God, look, yeah, he's got no nose. Sit and before there. it was like that. Oh yeah, he needed a bit of a nose job, didn't he? <laughs> look at that. Stop right now. Dalmatian's watching the telly. Little <laughs> rug. <laughs> the rug. Rug. This is not good, guys. I'm finding miniature versions of the things that I didn't buy. Available as Christmas decorate. They do an enchanted one. Fuck it, I'm buying this. Sorry, I'm gonna have to buy this. I don't know if we're gonna get copyrighted, but you open the book and it plays music. I've just realised from this making the noise that they actually all make noises and we haven't realised that, um, again, the gold tree, boy. I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm gonna have to get that. This is enchanted on it. Why? I protest for more enchanted merchandise. <laughs> Those book ornaments are $30, so I need to come away from them, compose myself, see how I feel tomorrow maybe, or maybe at the end of the holiday, and if I'm still thinking about them, then maybe I'll come back and grab one or more. This is the problem, you see. I feel like I'm gonna want more, but it's just, yeah, $30 is a lot for an ornament. So we're gonna, we're gonna sit on that one. So guys, that is it. We made it out of Disney Springs. I didn't think we was going to for a moment, did and you? And we ended up going to the Christmas shop. <laughs> but I actually really enjoyed it. It was great. So guys, if you've made it to the end of the video, which you have, thank you so much for watching. We really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and we hope that you've enjoyed our previous videos. If you haven't already, please go and check those ones out. We would really, really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned because there is still more Disney vlogs from this series coming your way. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you get to see all of our future stuff. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye guys.